guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music once again. Gonna break down a Red Hot Chili Peppers tune for you guys. Thank you so much for the continued support of the channel, Marty Music. I really appreciate if you haven't yet to subscribe right here to the channel and click that bell notification. Really helps me out, so thank you for that. All right, let's break it down. So the bass starts with A to F, C, G, and the guitar is playing uh, kind of like harmonies with that. And the part starts, think of it as the A minor pentatonic, ring finger on seventh fret A. Bum, bum, three, bum, bum. Then we go next door to the seventh fret on the D string. So you have. After the second one, we slide it up to the ninth, back to seven. Index on five. And then back to seven on the A from the top. Then five on the A. Starts over. But so the first one's very straight. But after that first one, whenever we do the seventh fret A string, it's it's syncopated. Watch. Straight. I'm overemphasizing right there. So it just varies sometimes, and then the very first one is very straight. So as you listen through the song, you'll hear um, sometimes it's syncopated, sometimes it's more straight. So we have the uh, beginning. On the last one, going to go from that 7 on the D string and slide it up to 14, then 9, and so Think of the verse as A minor, then E minor, A minor, E minor. Um, but the part is index finger on the root, fifth fret E string. The index finger is hitting that fifth uh, fret of the E, but then muting the other strings. I'm not barring it, I'm letting it touch the strings to mute it. So we've got. Then I slide up to 12th fret and I'm gonna put my middle finger on the 12th fret B and pinky on the 15th fret high E. And so the rhythm, the bone da. I can't sing that high, but. The rhythm alternates between two different rhythms. So it looks it sounds like this. Bum ba. Bow down. So the first one's bom bow. And the second one is bo bow. Here it is. I'm playing a, a G bar chord. Frushani would play it with the thumb and like an F looking shape. Same notes. And it just slides up. Now to me, it really feels like it should be A minor, um, but everything I saw, everyone, uh, everything I looked up watching it live, he's definitely got 
a finger there. And on the recording, sometimes it sounds more like it's getting muted. In other words, the G string's getting muted. But then sometimes I do barely hear that note in there. And so you get, you know, the first time, take it on the other side, right back into the verse. But then as we go, it repeats that part. And then you also have take it on. But it's just the all the take it on parts are just the G up to an A. So you should be able to get that pretty good. Uh, when we get back to the how long, how long, we get back to our uh, original part from the intro. Check it out. Remember earlier, we slid up to 14? Well, later on, it still slides up to 14 in the same part of the uh, sequence. But then it slides up to 17 on the D. So that's one variation. Oh, sorry. 14 to 17. So watch for that or listen for that. So this part here, the original part, we got to add octaves later on. So anything we do on the A string, we add a whole step up on the G string. Index finger is muting stuff. G strings muting what we don't want. So it's seventh fret, ninth fret. And so then I'm just rolling over to Another octave set where index is on the seven of the D, pinky's on the 10 of the B, and then up, back, down, then back to the original. So check it out. the bridge so you've got the octave part and the last one it starts the same where it's seven and nine a and g but then you slide it up to 12 and then you can play a c chord to a g chord as it builds up into the bridge and i'm going to show you that so Basically, it's the open B high E with overdrive. If you're playing it by yourself, you could play an E power chord with the open B and high E and the low E. You know, but it's the open B high E. Then you're going to grab the 12th fret on the B with the open high E. Very effective and cool. So you've got one, two, three, two, 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 one, two, three. So the first one, open B high E. Then 12th fret B with the open high E. Then you can slide that up to 17. 
Back to 12. And open. So the solo itself, you just slide down to 10, you get the open high E with it. And then with the high E ringing out, you move it up to that 17, and then you're just gonna play off the 17, 18, 19, 20th, the minor third up, just like a pentatonic. Then uh, live, you got, and you know, this recorded version, but basically you go into the chord progression and you could do the full chord or you could do power chords, uh, which is A minor to F. C to G. for watching you guys thank you for the support you can request tunes or lessons in the comments below while you're down there don't forget to like and subscribe right here to marty music thanks again we'll see you later <laughs>